Welcome to another video. This one is gonna be a bit different. Now you don't need me to tell you that times are tough out there. Price of everything seems to keep going up and up and up. People losing their jobs, etc. And what can you and I do about it? Well, it may not seem like an awful lot sometimes, but I thought the very least I could do was make this video, which is all about how to make an extra hundred bucks or so, if you're lucky, I'm not making any guarantees here, by doing some pretty easy little side jobs on the side. These are all jobs that I've done and I continue to do sometimes just to make me a little bit of extra cash here and there. You're definitely not gonna get rich doing any of these jobs. However, they are really easy to sign up to. You can take part of them as much or as little as you want to. It all depends on you, how much free time you've got, whether you wanna do it or not, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm not guaranteeing you're gonna make an extra 100 bucks a week either. Like I said, it all depends on how much time you wanna put into these. And just for the record, these are all legit online jobs that pretty much anyone, well, almost anyone can sign up to. They'll pay directly into your PayPal account too if you have one. I've never had any problems getting paid by any of these companies at all and I'm not affiliated with them either. Anyway, let's get right into it and I'll start off by showing you the first company that you can sign up to pretty easily and that is Opinion World. Opinion World are an online marketing surveying company. You sign up with them, create a profile and then they send you potential surveys that you might be interested in doing. You're not guaranteed to get into these surveys though, but if you do, you can earn a little bit of money for doing one of them. Signing up is pretty easy and straightforward. You create your profile, and as you can see here, my profile is not totally complete. You do wanna have your profile kept up to date at 100% because they'll keep updating the questions in there. If you keep those profile question answers up to date, that means it's just gonna send more surveys your way. And you can see down here, further down on the dashboard, I've got about one, two, three, four, five, I think. Yeah, five surveys I could go right into here. Opinion World work on a point system. For example, this one here, they're saying high reward. They're estimating it's gonna take about 15 minutes to do. It's on social topics. So what that means is it's often a survey created by one of their clients asking about, it could be anything from like local politics, like, oh, what do you think about your local council's decision to make more bus stops? Or, or what do you think of the nation's government's policy on X, Y, Z, that sort of thing. Not too taxing. You're not guaranteed to get into these things. There'll be some screening questions. Overall, I'd say that most surveys I click on in Opinion World, these are very broad estimates of how long it will take you. They say about 15 minutes. I typically find for myself, um, take a bit less than that, somewhere between five and 10 minutes. Now, again, you shouldn't be speeding through these things. They will put questions in these surveys to catch you out, to stop you just speeding through them and just clicking anything you want. So yeah, pay attention, yeah, be honest, give your honest opinion about everything. After all, you're getting paid for it. Not a huge amount, but it's real money. Speaking of money, here you can see I've got 506 points now. There you go, I can actually redeem something. I could go for one of these Flexi e-gift cards, which I've never actually redeemed. I'm not quite sure what you can spend them on. If anybody has ever used a Flexi e-gift card and knows where you can spend them, let me know. Or an Uber Eats voucher, maybe you're into that sort of thing. I usually just get my funds transferred straight into my PayPal account. I prefer actual money. The only downside of that is you need at least a thousand points. And a thousand points is 20 New Zealand dollars. So that's not too bad. And the payment into your PayPal account is instant, which is pretty nice. Just remember, you're not guaranteed to get into surveys all the time. I typically find every time I log in, there's at least three or four surveys I can do, but other times you log in and there's just nothing. Weekends tend to be pretty quiet, for instance. Okay, moving on, onto another market research company, and that is Pure Profile. They're also a pretty big name in online market research. They're available in a lot of different countries, and they're a lot like Opinion World, really. You get the gist. If we scroll down here on the dashboard, you can see surveys that I can take part in, or maybe take part in. One of the things I like about Pure Profile is they tell you exactly how much the dollar amount is. So this one, you can, it says earn up to $1.95 for the survey says it's gonna take approximately 11 minutes. This one's $2.65, this one I could get $1.05. I've gotta say, compared to Opinion World though, Pure Profile tends to have less surveys available. That could just be me though. Maybe Pure Profile's not looking for people like me, I don't know. Another thing I'd say about Pure Profile is that their platform is a little bit less stable than Opinion World. If I get accepted into one of these surveys, you often get these weird crashes or glitches that happen and you just get kicked out of the survey and that's it. You could be two thirds of the way through a survey it crashes, that's it, it's done, and you can't get back into it. When it comes to rewards with Pure Profile, like Opinion World, they offer PayPal, they offer gift cards, but they also offer this bank cash deposit. I've never tried it myself, I just use PayPal. You gotta have a minimum balance of $20, as you can see, to redeem anything. And I find with the PayPal redemption thing on Pure Profile, it takes at least three weeks to get those funds transferred into your PayPal account, which is really, really slow. So think about that before you do any surveys with these guys. As you can see, they offer quite a big range of gift cards that you can exchange for. 
Okay, next one, Octopus Group. Again, it's another market research company. You create a profile and they send you surveys that you can try and get into. These guys are an Australian company. They're available in Australia and New Zealand. I haven't logged into them for a long time, so I can't even remember my sign-in details because one of the things I found with them was that I wasn't getting very many surveys recommended to me at all. Maybe one a week if I was lucky. So your mileage may vary. Give them a go. Some people say they're really good. Another online job you can do in your free time. This one isn't market research. This one's a little bit more difficult and a little bit more involving, to be honest. Rev are an American company that caption online videos. So you think about all those YouTubers you like to watch who have really good captions on their videos, it's chances are they're using a company like Rev. Well, they're probably using Rev, to be honest. They're one of the biggest companies in this business. I think Rev also sometimes do captions for Netflix shows and other streaming platforms too. So there's a big variety of things to work on in Rev. I've been a quote unquote rever in the past. It's a bit more difficult than just doing online surveys. This one requires you to preferably be a native English speaker. Um, if English isn't your first language, you can still give it a crack, but it's gonna be tough. And I will say, even if you are a native English speaker, they are quite strict. They've got a style guide and they expect you to know that style guide inside and out. And it can get quite complicated on how to correctly caption. For example, if you've got two people speaking in a video, you have gotta be able to show who's speaking at what time correctly. And that can get quite confusing and difficult. If you make too many errors captioning a video, you will get marked down by a rev. If you make too many errors, they'll kick you from the platform and you can't do captioning for them anymore. So yeah, rev's not for everybody, but if you are pretty good at typing and you've got a good ear and you've got a good command of English and a bit of free time on your hands, give them a go. When you sign up, they'll give you a short English test and give you a writing assignment to do. It's not very big. It's just to see you can write English correctly. And once one of the people has assessed your application, they'll let you know if you're in or not. Once you are in, you get access to this list of jobs that you might be able to take. There aren't always jobs available. Sometimes competition for these jobs can be quite high. And like I said, some of the videos for captioning are really, really complicated, especially if you've got multiple speakers talking in a video. That can be very, very challenging and your chances of making a mistake are quite high. Make too, again, make too many mistakes and you're off the platform. How much money are you gonna make? Rev say the average person on their platform can make about 156 US dollars per 15 jobs they do. So yeah, you're not gonna get rich doing this. What I think you should do with Rev is use it as a tool to gain some skills. I've actually put captioning for Rev on my CV before when I was applying for jobs and some of these jobs I actually got. Finally, I thought I'd give this one a quick mention. It's Prime Research. It's another market research company, but it's a little bit different. There isn't an online platform where you do surveys online. With Prime, you can join their research database. Pretty straightforward stuff. Create a profile with them, go on their list. Actually, they'll send you emails fairly often asking if you wanna take part in some sort of online survey. It could be on Zoom, could be in person. Most of these surveys take about 30 minutes to an hour. They pay between $100 and $200, which isn't too bad. I get offered to take part in these quite often. I don't have the time usually to join them though. But if you've got the time, why not give them a go? So anyway, those are a few pretty easy online jobs that anybody can really sign up to. Well, I'd say the one exception being Rev. They're not that difficult to get into, but they are a little bit more of a challenge. But if you are up for a challenge, give them a go. Uh, again, I'm not affiliated with any of these companies, but I have found that all of these companies are legit and they do pay you, just some of them faster than others. What about you? Do you know any other legit ways to make money online? in these tough and trying economic times? Why not put them in the comments below and let us all know. Have a good one, I'll see you in the next one.